This video is page 12 in your packets. This is found in the chapter 6, chapter 6 of the 6th grade book, um, all about percent. So you can find more problems like this, sales tax and discount. Um, so I'm going to teach you two different ways to do sales tax and discount. You all know that when you go to the store and you buy a shirt, say it's, you know, $19, you go to the register, you're not just going to pay $19 because there's that 8% tax here in Monroe County that they add on. So you know you're going to pay more than that. So tax is something that gets added. Tax is added. I'm going to change my percent to a decimal and multiply because of means multiply. So method one, that's what I'm going to do. Eight and a quarter percent is the same thing as eight and 25 hundredths percent. I have not changed the percent to a decimal. I changed this fraction to its equivalent decimal. So changing this percent to a decimal, remember I divide by 100, I go two to the left. So I get decimal point 0825, 825 ten thousandths times my 1799, my purchase. So when you multiply that, it comes out to be uh, $1.48. Tax gets added on. So $17.99 plus that $1.48 would give your purchase price or your total cost of $19.47. So that's the first way. So this is the tax. This would be the total. Method two, since I know I'm going to be paying that eight and a quarter percent tax, I'm also going to be paying all 100 percent of that $17.99. So you could add the tax amount to 100 percent of the cost of the shirt. So add that eight and 25 hundredths percent plus that 100 percent because I'm going to pay 108 and 25 hundredths percent for that shirt or whatever the item is. So changing that percent to a decimal, I'm going to multiply 1 and 825 ten thousandths times that 17.99 and I'm not going to find the individual tax. I'm going to go right to the total. So method one actually finds the tax first. This, this method finds tax and total. Method two just goes right to the total. When I multiply that one and 825 ten thousandths times 17.99 I get that 1947 right away. So the total is 1947. So that's the total. In method one, I'm finding tax and total. In method two, I'm finding total. So method one, find the tax, add it on. Method two, add the tax on already to get the total. Well, the same thing can be done when you get a discount or what's called a savings. You're going to save money. Okay, method one, I'm going to find the savings or the discount, same thing. I'm going to find the discount and I'm going to find the uh, sale price or the new cost. Method two, I'm only going to find the sale price or the new cost. I'm not going to find out how much exactly am I saving. So method one, again, I'm going to change my percent to a decimal and multiply. I'm going to save 20% off a $53 item. Maybe I'm buying a jacket. I do 20% times 53, which equals 1060. So I know when I go to the register that $53 jacket should be about $10 less, right? So take my discount of $53 and I'm saving money, so I subtract here, subtract that 1060, and I would be paying $42.40. 
That's the new total or the sale price. Ten sixty was the discount or the savings, how much money I'm not going to have to take out of my pocket. Method two says go ahead and subtract first the percent off of what you're going to get. So if I, from the 100%. So I'm not going to pay $53 for that jacket. I'm going to be paying less. So subtract 100% minus that 20% which means I'm going to pay 80% of the cost of that $53 jacket. So why not use 80% times the 53 to figure out, oh, okay, what am I going to pay? I'm going to pay, yes, $42.40. So my sale price is $42.40. Either way, I'm going to get the same answer, obviously. So... Method one, find the discount and subtract it to get the sale price. Method two, subtract first to get the sale price. And yes, I could figure out, oh, how much did I save? If I could take that $53 minus the $42.40 and I would get the $10.60 if I really wanted to know how much I saved. The same watch is on sale in two different stores. The first one is 15% off $38, and the second one is 30% off $50. So it's the same watch, but different prices and different percents off at stores. Which watch, I don't think this is, it's supposed to be there. Which watch is the better deal, the first store or the second store? So here's the first store. It's 15% off of $38. So I'm going to do method two. I like that method. I'm going to subtract it right away. 100% minus that 15%. I'm going to pay at store one 85% of $38. So 85% of $38. So I'm going to change that percent to the decimal. Of means multiply. Multiply by 38. And I get... $32.30. So store one, the watch would cost me $32.30. Store two, now it's a $50 watch, same watch though, and it's 30% off. Again, I'm going to do method two. I like method two. I'm going to take the 100% minus the 30% to get 70%. I'm going to pay 70% of $50 which is going to cost me $35. So here it's $35. So which watch is the better deal? It's still a better deal to buy it at store number one. This is the second store. Which watch is the better deal? The first store has the watch. for a better deal. It's, it costs less. You're only going to pay $32 for it rather than $35. And the last question, explain how to find the percent discount of a $30 item marked down to $20. Well, subtract it first. Subtract 30 minus 20 to get 10. Oops, that looks like one word to get. To get the $10, right? And uh, put 10 over the original, which was the 30, and find the percent. So I'm explaining what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. Then find the discount. So 10 over 30, oh, well, we know what that is. That's one-third, which is that repetent 3, which means that it's 33 and one-third percent discount. So you're saving a third of the item, whatever it is that you're buying. 
And uh, that's it for today. We're going to do sales tax and discount in class tomorrow.